inside to Liam Smith. Smith does well, but he's been pushed away from the goal. He's got to cut back in. Shot from Liam Smith has gone right across the post. Not gone wide yet, and it won't go wide either. Pat Farrell clears the ball up the field. James Fitzgerald gets ahead of Vinny O'Brien. Fitzgerald drives it back in. Charlie, Jack, DJ Carey, DJ Carey over the ball. So that delightful point by DJ Carey puts Young Ireland back into the lead. 2-8 to 13 points. Liam O'Connor breaks it down. James Fitzgerald towards the sideline. Charlie Carter and Shane Dial. Malcolm Murphy is back there for the village. Good clearance by Malcolm Murphy. Pat Trey is underneath it. Ball breaks in sight to John Scott. John Scott number 10. Chased by Kieran Phelan. Phelan comes away with the ball for Gordon. Hops off Peter Bowley and clears the ball. Toss Farrell grabs that ball. Signs it inside. Nobody there. Francis Cantrell comes out. Gets the ball up the field. Shane Dyle does well to catch it out of the sky. <laughs> Just can't hold on to it. Here's Martin Phelan to Peter Barry. Patre. Patre does well. Brian Lahey is out and sends the ball over the sideline. Sideline ball for Gordon. Well, the game is livened up considerably. Gordon one point ahead, 2 8 to 13 points. 18 and a half minutes gone in the second half. And we're going to have this dog removed now, I think, at this stage. Ben Hayes, the brave man. Putting him out from the sideline. Play continues, Philly Larkin in trouble, but he wins the free. So 10 minutes to go, Air, Young Ireland's 2-8. James Stevens, 13 points. James Stevens haven't won since 81. Young Ireland have never been in a final before today. Francis Cantwell with a three. Sub on the James Stevens team. Billy Walton is in, is he? Vinny O'Brien has gone off. Noel Brennan has gone off. So we have two subs on for the village. Tommy Fogarty has gone in left half forward. So Barry Smith and Tommy Fogarty are on. This is John Scott whose jersey was pulled. So Noel Brennan and Vinnie O'Brien gone off the village team. Number 17 is, to is uh, number 18 is Tommy Fogarty. Number 19 Barry Smith. And Richie Minogue with this free. to level the game and that's what he does puts the ball over the bar sides are level just under 10 minutes left in the game so Martin Carey to puck out all to play for in this 1996 Credit Union Kilkenny Senior Hurling Final and we haven't been disappointed with the game we've got so far Malcolm Murphy here on Phelan was too slow but does well to recover. This is Tommy Fogarty. Liam O'Connor has moved up the field now for James Stevens as he did the last day. Brian Lahey is number 13. Pat O'Neill. Tussling down there, the referee once again allowing it perhaps to go that little bit too long. Perhaps he should have blown the whistle a shade earlier and this wouldn't have happened. Liam O'Connor, is that the man he's looking for? So a player from each team having their name taken.
and shake hands and Pat O'Neill and Liam O'Connor resume their positions. Now the referee will restart with a throw in. Or will he? You know he's looking for another, Liam Smith now is having his name taken. So another name in the notebook. And it's a pity we've had these two minor incidents because the game has been played in a great spirit up to that. Ben Hayes will throw the ball in. Peter Barry gets it. Brings it up the field. Drives it inside to Brian Blahey. Brian Blahey for the village. Walking himself into a good position and sends the ball over the bar. Two and four, 15 pints for James Stevens. Two goals and eight pints for Gordon. So the village going to a one point lead once again. There's just under se over seven minutes left in the game. Martin Carey pucking out. Malcolm Murphy drives it away. The far side, this is Shane Dial. Across to the far side, nobody there, gone over the sideline. Brian Farrell is number 17 for Gordon. He will probably take it. He wants a drink first, I think. Yes, he gets it too from the village lads. Good cut from Farrell. Charlie goes over his head. Malcolm Murphy is there with Shane Dial. Chased by Toss Farrell. Cut out by Charlie Carter inside. David O'Neill. Oh, well cut out by Tobias White. That could have been dangerous. Still White. Shortish Kearns. Barry Smith. One of the subs. Only as far as Jim McDermott. McDermott loses the ball. Referee gives the free, however. Chance for Gordon. DJ comes out to take the free. His team is one point behind at the moment. So DJ Carey with this chance to level the sides. Five and a half minutes left in the game. A vital free. Oh, he didn't connect at all. Shane Dyle takes it down for the village. How vital will that miss be, I wonder? Well caught there by the number seven, Owen Farrell. Barry Smith broke that ball away from the Gordon player. Here's David O'Neill. Still David O'Neill waved on by the referee. Hand passes out to Charlie Carter. Charlie in space. Gets around Philly Lark and a shot from Charlie and a point from Charlie. Great point by Charlie Carter as he faced Phil Larkin, turned him one way, walked inside and put the ball over the bar. Sides are level, five minutes left in the game. 15 points for the village, 2-9 for Young Ireland. Still all to play for. What are the chances of a draw, I wonder? Ball is broken down to Martin Phelan, to Berlimo O'Connor. Can't get the ball up. Ball breaks out to Peter Barry. Peter Barry for the village. Owen Farrell did well. He's lost his hurry now. Ball goes inside. Pat O'Neill comes out with Liam Smith. Ball across in front of the post. Martin Carey comes out. Nobody knows where the ball is. Still on the ground. The referee blows and gives a free out. But that was dangerous once again for Gordon. As Martin Carey came out, he lost the ball. And Gordon were struggling to clear the ball until they got the free. Drama in the last few minutes as the sides are still level. And there's three and a half minutes left. Gordon are warming up a sub. Dick Carroll, number 19, could be coming in. He started the last day but didn't make the starting line up today. Martin Carey drives it long. Shane Dyle is underneath this one for the village. And grabs the ball out of the air. Can't get his clearance in though. DJ working out to feel now. Back goes Martin Thielen. Towards the sideline, John Scott. On foul breaks it down. 
The referee gives the free to Gordon. DJ Carey comes out to take it. Ben Hayes shows DJ where the spot is. A word from Kevin Fenley, and not from DJ, and Liam O'Connor will surely stand in front of him. Under three minutes, and the sides are level. Here's DJ, just inside his own half. Didn't strike it very well. He might get something inside. Charlie Carter, ball knocked away by Malcolm Murphy. Malcolm Murphy kicks it clear towards the far sideline. All weakish clearance comes to Jim Fitzgerald. Jim Fitzgerald shot goes inside to Tass Farrell, Tass Farrell breaks it down, uh, David O'Neill back to Charlie, Charlie Carter a shot, and Charlie Carter a point! <laughs> Gordon go a point ahead with two minutes left in the game. Francis Cantrell pucks out. The ball breaks to Liam O'Connor. Peter Barry. John Scott and the ball is cleared comes to Brian McAvoy Brian McAvoy a shot and Brian McAvoy a point sides are level once again 2 10 to 16 points one and a half minutes plus stoppage time left Martin Carey pucks out what a game what a finish Charlie flicks it into Shane Doyle's hand. The village win the free. Liam O'Connor says, call it lads, I'm going to take this free. He's 60 metres out from his own goal. Whatever breeze is in it is blowing against him. Alan, uh, Dick Carroll, is, the referee, wants the free retaken because Dick Carroll is coming in for Gordon. So Dick Carroll is in. Number 19. Alan O'Neill, who I came in as the sub has gone off. So Dick Carroll in, wearing 19, Alan O'Neill gone off. Beam O'Connor with a second go at this free. We're in the last minute of normal time. Here's Liam O'Connor, didn't connect very well, but it might get something off of the jet. Tommy Fogarty, Tommy Fogarty with a good chance, faced by Pat O'Neill, back out to Richie M Minogue, out to Peter Barry, Peter Barry with a chance. There's, they're crewing up outside him. Brian McAvoy, Brian McAvoy with a shot, and Brian McAvoy has sent it wide, yes. Into injury time, the sides level to 10 to 16 pints. The referee is studying his watch. Maybe if we come back another day and have it all over again, it might suit everybody. Martin Carey is all over. The game has ended in a draw, and I think it's a fair result on the day. Two goals and 10 pints for Young Ireland, 16 pints for James Stevens. Both teams shake hands, the crowd applauds, both teams off the pitch. I think on the day it's probably a fair result and we certainly look forward to the replay.